Keep that open. It's too late if you a button for recording now. <gasps> Close the window instead of to uh, go to random. <clears throat> Just open it back up. Anyway, I do need to take an allergy pill. I can breathe properly. Good idea. Color. So I forget how many skill points do you need in a particular skill to start making skills with it, or is it just that represents uh, proficiency? With it? You're talking about like over, yeah. Uh, what are you talking about exactly? So whenever we do something like fishing, for you give us skill points, and currently I have a hundred. 16. I don't. Yeah, that's just completely random, Jin, based off of what you're doing in the world. Okay, so what do you need to? The, which die I use that determine your success. <laughs> Alright, so is it like a, like a modifier or something? Yeah, it's a hidden modifier for your. basically whatever you're doing with that talent. Like, if you're trying to, like, fish. I got one really itty bitty 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 die for common fish that's really easy to get with. A common fish one, and then I've got this one enormous die, which I technically use random.org, that has a 1 in 10,000 chance to give you that thing currently, at least at base. Okay, so that's how it works. Got it. Basically, it's the better your skill in that, the better it is, and you can technically try and do stuff right out the gate. But I'm going to use those dice to also determine your chances of getting, like, say if you were to smith something and craft that as a weapon. Um, you could try and make it a strength-based scale on a weapon. It's just, if you have an F rank in it, you've got about a 1 in 10, a 1 in 15,000 uh, 15, chance to actually have it have strength and not just have it have a random value based off of what weapon it is. That reminds me of try crafting it. This isn't the So, six days to go to the cooking college. Alright, so we'll basically have you guys go to the cooking college, and they'll find what's his nerd ass over at the other one. Yay, culinary! I am returned. I'm just stuffing my mouth with granola bars. Okay. That is a good thing to stuff one's face with. I mean, there are, there are alternatives. But as far as they go, they're like a... No. Look at him. What? God damn it. <clears throat> I knew it was only a matter of time before you got that button. Flash bang. Please no. No. <laughs> so All right, we're gonna put this on. <laughs> ah yes, let's offend France. <laughs> Yeah, this street is, performers. Uh, Always lightning my day. It's actually pretty good music. Mm hmm There you go. There's your traveling music. Uh, random.org! What are the chances of a fight? Damn it! No! Why do we have to fight? Just get into a fight with a bunch of weaponized <laughs> culinary students. Basically, as soon as we get out of the town that we're in, we're in a fight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh god, a big Frenchman chasing you with a cleaver. Fucking no! Uh, no, it's just a baguette. That's worse! <laughs> <laughs> the baguette's been You're hollowed awesome. out, and there's a chamber for holding uh, donut holes. They shoot you with it. 
<laughs> Damn, donut holes. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, the calories. Ah! <laughs> I'm just going straight for my ass! <laughs> <laughs> going straight for my thighs. Someone's doing a fucking autopsy later. It's like, hmm, so what was the cause of death? Uh, looks like they had a calorie intake that was just a little too high for what they could handle. What makes you say that? Well, their thighs have exploded. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what that one sounds like. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that's oh. Is that one actually. That's kind of hot. What, this one? Yes. Somebody used know. it in a, in a Skyrim animated little thing. Do you remember the Fusroda? The lock oh, thing? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that video. That, that was fucking mean. That guard didn't have a chance. <laughs> the, the little gr glass breaking sound when he heard the first syllable. I mean, that first Just, syllable on its own is strong enough. You don't have to say the rest. I mean, the whole thing is world ending, literally. Hey! My character. Shadow, um, are you playing your wife or am I playing your wife? And hint, hint, I don't want to play nobody's wife. Except mine. Don't worry. <laughs> Burn. Burning things. <laughs> I'm, I'm listening, but I'm not here. Oh, you slut. <laughs> Pollen count. Very high. I wonder why. I'm crisping up some bacon. You can... Not bacon. <laughs> not keto-friendly. Bacon is extremely keto-friendly. It's protein and fat. <laughs> fat. You're it's a pylo-erection. You're tired of my ass. I'm pylo-erect. Leave me alone. Hello, erection. No. All right. <laughs> <coughs> if Randall doesn't have some abomination of a creature that is similar to a parrot that says nut at the worst possible times, I'm going to be disappointed. You don't know what the fuck Randall has. You can't understand. Nobody has Randall. Nobody knows what Randall has except Randall. In the box. He'll put you in the box. Just like no, <laughs> a lot of people have actually wound up in the box without him trying. It's just it attracts stupid people. It's kind of its point. That's probably though. how. That's probably how he transported Shadow to the whatever kingdom he's part. No. How he transported him, at least. Right. The hell do you have to open your mouth? What? <laughs> Dumbass. What? Just for that flashbang. Oh, please, no. Not that loud. Wait, hold on. It's volume. It's not flashbang. Loud. Wait, hang on a sec. <laughs> Just make sure I'm not going to kill somebody. Yeah, it's not that loud, see? <laughs> it's just, it is literally at volume one. The, no, le the number I one out of a hundred. No, my ears are sensitive to high pitch noises. Do it again, but louder. No. <laughs> okay, 100 it is. No? Yes! <laughs> Please, no. That'd be good, boy.
time that was 50. God, that was that was pretty brutal. Especially the shock factor of it. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> It's a lot. I should still have my functional mat design, right? Again with play. Right. Yes. <coughs> Let me just look at this. Look at this. Load it! Your master commands you to load his map. I'm having issues with my map tracker. Here we go. Okay, I'm sorry, you don't have permission to use that document. I'm sorry. I oh no! <laughs> you must be. You must be an administrator. I have thrown smaller computers for saying you must be an admin when I'm the only account logged in on my computer. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry, you must be an admin. I'm sorry, you must be trash. <laughs> I'm sorry, do you want me to directly touch the transistors that make up your existence? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I'll go rub a balloon on my head first! <laughs> Okie dokie. So yeah. It's very pretty green grass here. All the way... down, and then you kinda get... That's a little mountain. How little... I don't know, how big does a hill have to get before a mountain? It's like asking how many trees it takes to make 25 yeah, within a mile, by the way. Actually, no. So, uh, 25 within a mile, that is not as much as I expect. I absolutely live within a forest. Okay. God, yeah. Estimated distance. Jesus Christ, I forgot how big this place is. Okay. Huh. Most geologists classify a mountain as a landform that rises at least 1,000 feet or above its surrounding area. It's not How that many big. 1,000. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, that, that's not super big. Get it a mountain if it's that small? Okay. I guess the mountains here would be considered super mountains because the smallest one's like 3,000 feet. What they call mountains. Anyways. So I know you meant to say geologist, but I didn't hear geologist. <laughs> I think I might have accidentally said gynecologist or something. You said gemologist. Oh. Like <laughs> gemologist. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Do -do -do. It was an uneventful, unfortunately, ride to the college. Damn it. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> I'm upset that it was an uneventful ride. Ingi and wanted to fight. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> oh, it looks like the definitions actually changed <laughs> recently. Uh, the Food and Agriculture Organization defines a forest as a land spanning more than 0.5 hectares, which is higher than 5 meters, and canopy cover of 10%. So it's even less now. 
That's depressing. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, I'm trying to find the description of her. Oh my god, I remember it. Where would you find it? So, what you need to remember, Fionn and also Beatrice and Kevin, if Kevin's actually going to pay attention. Kevin, I'm here. here. Oh, okay. I was have bacon. Yeah. Back on. Looking. <coughs> <coughs> You're looking for technically Mob's aunt? A woman uh, named Sirius. Has been given a very apt description. They're tall, approximately six feet. They have hair that is a very pretty sort of azure color. It goes down to the small of their back and not an inch further. These are very, like, very apt descriptions given very by Vega. Specific. <laughs> very specific person. They often wear robes. They're very noticeable robes, usually bearing a sort of maroon color with coppery or bronze cufflinks of some kind and a uh, a undrawn hood. Though so if the hood is drawn, it would be noticeable bearing a large and otherworldly symbol that resembles some sort of cross bearing a diamond-shaped eye on it. Not a normal cross, though. They've given you a little sketch of the cross. Oh, fuck. I gotta find my sketchbook. I have it somewhere. Shit! Why'd this slip my mind? <laughs> that it? Let me see. Is it this one? Okay, it's one of these books. Bear with me. We'll, we'll find it together. <laughs> <laughs> I have talkies. Leave me alone. Fuck you. Yes. Give me my eraser. I also have the, the uh, fire bag five right. bean boozle challenge. <laughs> I hope you get one up your nose. <laughs> because the, the five flavors are. Cayenne, no. habanero, Canelar, Carolina Reaper, jalapeno, and sriracha. Directly in the nose. <laughs> How about you? Oh, no. <laughs> Hazel cavity. No. Don't need death in my sinuses. Yes, you do. I mean, we could tuck it up hey. under your under your nuts. Give me like, <laughs> give me like shadow and have death in your booty hole. Who knows? I am death. Good for you. Get out of my ass. Oh. Faces. I know, sweetheart. <laughs> uh. How did I break? Oh, right. I was fucking with it and having fun. That's how I broke it. <laughs> okay. Can't find it. Let's see if I can draw this from memory. <clears throat> That's fine. Uh, I'll kind of get it. Hopefully. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gonna quickly throw this together. Some sort of <coughs> eh, manageable way. Something not retarded. Well, then again, that's kind of hard with me, but still. Uh, but. <laughs> Keep it down. Keep it down. No dying in the culinary school or even anywhere near. <laughs> Bad for business and learning. <laughs> Just fucking somebody literally suffering from a plague on campus. Shut up! <laughs> you know the risks. It's like we told you not to do that. <laughs> too much salt. The pepper was too spicy. <laughs> pepper so spicy it gives you the plague. Okay. <laughs> Ass so fat, you have trouble breathing for months afterwards. I mean... Damn it. That'll have to do. <laughs> it's not what the original one looked like, but this will have to work. Camera! I command you to function! Yay, buttons. Magical scaffolding or ice? <clears throat> Magical scaffolding up here. Right, here we go. Ah, oh, neat. Ah. Oh. I, I quickly oh, yeah. threw it together. It's not what the original one looked like, but you needed something to go off of. An approximation. This is the sketch they gave you. <clears throat> yeah. Mortis. Zombie. They lack what you call a creative mind. Hey, hey, you know what they don't lack? Something to hit. <coughs> it's good enough. Shut up. <coughs> Pretty sure that doesn't have enough limbs. I think the other one had like four limbs, but regardless. <laughs> Yeah, you put like three or four more of slightly smaller length on them, you could make the Russian Orthodox cross. No, just that that's not the Russian Orthodox cross. That is the papacy cross. That's the Roman Catholic cross. And yeah. Technically, that is. It's, it's complicated, regardless. <clears throat> Religion! <laughs> Theocracy. All right. Well, yeah, that's the symbol you know to look for that they would supposedly have on their robes. If they're not wearing robes, they may be wearing literally any other type of clothing and also not look like who they are. Oh. So it's either they look like this or they don't look like anyone. Exactly. They have... Oh. They're very pale. Um, They're very pale. And they have visible tattoos about their neck and parts of their face that look like runes aligned like stitches. Oh, they also have those wonderful. same similar runic stitches on their hands and wrist and pretty much their entire body, though don't ask to see it. So Just as you do, don't stare directly into their eyes. Even if they are a very pretty shade of yellow, don't stare into them. So are these just shapes that look like runes, or are they actually? Your information that you were given doesn't specify. Great. <laughs> if she starts getting really close and starts trying to look you in the eye, just poke her in one of them. Just stick your sure, finger up their nose. That usually distracts people. 
<laughs> it works. <laughs> you could go try and look for them, though. Uh, of course, you don't exactly get to go just walking onto the camp. You're going to have to go to the front gate, which isn't very hard to get through. Not necessarily. I mean, it seems hard to get through. And then when, you know, somebody's biggest mob starts approaching, they're more than happy to just let them through because it's not worth getting limbs broken just by being a gate guard trying to gatekeep a college campus. At the end of the day, <laughs> it's just a nine to five. You're not protecting the queen or the king. Let's see. There is a little sign that kind of tells you where you need to go. Or, well, not necessarily where you need to go, where students need to go. People who are attending this culinary colleague. And there is, a, in fact, it is. All right. You can go and ask questions. That probably won't get you anywhere. Or maybe they'll get you everywhere. Who knows? The universe is crazy like that. Yeah, who knows? You know. Let's go to the front office and see if they have anyone matching these descriptions. Yeah, that might be a good place to check. Maybe they can give us an idea of we have to do. And again, they might not tell just a group of random strangers who haven't presented any reason or any reason to this. know this information. Okay, I got this. Very concerning when Mob says he's gonna handle something. <laughs> it has Beatrice very curious. She's watching expectantly. If I had eyebrows right it now, has be on... very worried. <laughs> Mob just kind of casually approaches the front desk as you enter through the doors, ignoring the small <laughs> crowd. Excuse me. You tell me where to find my aunt. Yes, my aunt. We don't look alike physically. But that's because I come from a different father. And, and, and he has dominant gene. You know what? I don't have to explain the science behind it. Their name is Sirius. They have very distinct features. They're tall, long blue hair. Looks like they have a bunch of stitches, possibly magical runes. Very pale, extremely pale, like uh, drained of all blood, but not quite that far. Um, very pretty yellow eyes. Uh, last I heard, they often smell of either rust or chamomile. Damn, ninety-one. His description was good. Yeah. Go this way. It's very concerning for a lot of these attending students, most of whom are, mind you, in their 20s and so on. Not exactly young. Because they're not used to seeing adventurers who are openly armed, literally going against the no weapons on campus sign. Well, Beatrice has her stored in her inventory, but yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, Fionn's got his weapons stowed away in his inventory, too. Uh, Mob has it. Oh, by the way, this is your first time seeing it. Mob's weapon is a fucking battle axe that acts more like a giant meat cleaver. Goodness. Well, then. Exactly his dad's weapon. I don't know what Sin has, though. He just has a smile and pretty clothing. His wings kind of. It's worth noting that now that you're, like, spending time with him. Sin actually takes the time to dress his wings up in cloth, too. He makes them, like, actually look like part of his attire. Cool. He's got looks that so kill. Long. 
I mean, literally. <laughs> Wait, it takes them like two or three hours to get ready in the fucking mornings right there, Jesus. Because <laughs> this man's got follows after his hair. Is he the group I mean, Sephiroth? He's... he's got gold and <laughs> silver fucking cloth kind of binding his wings up prettily. Silver and I mean, Naiva usually walks around with all their weapons in their inventory, so, like, the only thing that is a weapon that they usually wear on their person would be the sling that they're using as a belt. Yeah, same with Kevin. Just large noodles. 37 minutes of walking. This is a big campus. Sizable. Find an interesting college course. And stop in front of a classroom on the second story. That's nice. The door is shut. You can see it. It's a cooking course in this room. Eating. The unholy and the inhuman. Huh. So, by force? I don't know. I, I don't How know. That's why I said that with a questioning tone. Let's see. Sure. Yeah, no, that's fair. Okay. You just am. Yeah. Can't open the door. I don't know why. I just don't have the strength in me. Two. It's a door. What if you just knock? You know what? I don't have the strength. Kevin will step knock. forward and Kevin will step forward and see if he can open the door. I don't know if it's got some weird magic lock on it. No, it's it's fairly easy to open. It just kind of slings open quite easily. It's just Mob didn't have the the nerves to open the door because he was nervous. <laughs> oh, <You're> big sweetie. Kevin <laughs> <laughs> swing the door open and kind of peek in. Hello. It's a mostly empty classroom in here. Mostly. But there are a few students who seem like they're trying to prepare whatever the hell was put on the menu by this almost perfectly description fitting professor. The hood is drawn, so you can't see their face. They're about six feet tall, at least from what you can guess. And you have very long, lanky arms, which the note seems to have left out. Their hands are extremely pale. Hmm. I'm not sure what that smell is of what they're trying to cook. I, I mean, a lot of it smells bad, because not everybody's good at cooking. The one fully functional dish smells delicious. <laughs> What does anyone know what, what um, Sirius's last name is, or does she just go by S Sirius or Professor Sirius in this case, or Chef? Maybe. My aunt's name is Sirius Mordius, but you're not supposed to say Mordius in public. We say uh, the last name would be Modia. Hmm. Yeah. Kevin would straight himself a bit. I'm looking for Chef Modia. Would that be uh, anyone here? Everyone act natural. They probably have the wrong classroom. I'm going to assume no then. They said your name. Shh! And he has bad hearing. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Beatrice is just kind of looking back and forth. <laughs> Am I missing something? Shh. Me under the bus. Hmm. Like do a roll for for the tongue flickies. I'm sniffing out. Give me the... tongue. Tongue flick all mm. you wish. That one. Why is the app taking so long to? Thank you. Um. You're I got eight. Against score. Oh god, I forgot. Thank you. <laughs> wait, no, is it a No, wait. Still. No, it's wisdom. Yes, it was the <coughs> exception here. Ah, oh, oh, Firefox. Um, that'd be two He's doing a sniff specifically for rust, which should not be in a kitchen, let alone a, a institution of learning. You've never been in an army barracks, then. It is not an institution of learning. That is an institution of. They don't smell like rust in here. Nothing does. It does smell lightly of chamomile. Well, I would imagine Chef Modius is here and pointing to the head of the class, the uh, hooded individual. I assume it would be you. Just stop what they're doing. They seem to be preparing some sort of quiche, which has questionable meat in it. And then they'll look and no, that's not me. No. Mob, is that her? Shh. Oh, tell them I'm here. <laughs> whether or whether not to be a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, young sir. Did you see Mob? I did. Oh. Mob, I think they're looking for you. Sin! <laughs> Stop them! Help them! Oh, they approach. Slowly approach. Mob. Shit, that's me. Sin. Tell them. Oh. Buzz. When I dress. <laughs> So Beatrice is a little bit confused as to why Mob is so nervous. <laughs> like, she understands that the person could be potentially dangerous, but... She's a so, little bit confused as to why she would be so afraid of a family member. <laughs> Sin's gonna nudge, you, be nudge Beatrice to try and see if they'll throw him under the bus. <laughs> Down. Um, <laughs> Beatrice isn't mean, though. <laughs> she's a tease, but she's not mean. Your definition of mean is very strange. <laughs> <laughs> so she's going to kind of watch as this individual approaches. And then she's going to kind of glance at each of the others and I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. So, there is Mob, by the way, in this uh, exchange. Mob is trying to hide against the wall. <laughs> <clears throat> well, Evan is going to sidestep a little bit and kind of do the this way for the mob. So I think, personal mob, you are you are a point of contact. You are all traitors. <gasps> no. Look at you grown! Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> it's mildly terrifying. Uh, you thought they had two arms, and they kind of have a Selene Sura moment happen when they pick Mob up against his will with six arms and hug him. Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm physically larger than you. Why must you hug me? Fire. Oh, he was so small when I last seen him. <laughs> Just gurgly, growly mob noises. Yeah. Oh, Shut your fucking fears. Don't tease him. I'm just happy this is a happy reunion. It's not happy for me. I'm here because... Let me go. Hey, hold on. No, that doesn't work with you. <laughs> Please. Aunt Siri, would you please set me down so I might be a young man? No, he he wins. Mob has... He's done it. He knew the only way to get out of it was to make them laugh. <laughs> what an idiot. Ah, <laughs> my lungs. Excuse me. Yeah, they'll grow back. Yeah. <laughs> Ixnay on the passive traits. So Beatrice is going to turn her attention to Sirius. Uh, we have been sent on a mission to... Was it to find both of them, or was it just to find Shadow? Well, to find her. Find Give her. a shit about Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would imagine. Okay, well, <laughs> Mom just had a shoulder dislocated by a stiff punch from under her robe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Fine. Go get my uncle, too. Let's just leave. I'm in anger now. It's not, I'm not able to kill anybody here because it would ruin all these ingredients with just a creep of blood and sweat. I have a class to do. No, you don't. They're going to fail anyway. <laughs> I don't know. That one looks like he's doing pretty good. Classroom's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the is going to peek in. Like, mm, nope. Yeah. <laughs> so she's going to. Panicking. One of them's okay with it, and the third one just casually walks up and snuffs it out with a bucket. One's going places. <laughs> <laughs> so the one's just like, this is fine. Like, yeah, I know how to deal with this. Give me. Now that we know where you are. Us. I was going to say, give me an hour and some change, and I should be ready. Oh, right, put the arms away. Not normal. <laughs> Those are, in fact, runes, now that you look closely at them. But they're very unique runes. One, you've never seen them in any textbook. Period. Um... They look much, much older than really even some of the oldest known examples of runes used for inscription. And they also look like the runes themselves are very much physically there and part of their flesh, not just etched on. And grown out of the, uh, the meaty bits.
<laughs> Goodbye. Hello. Yay, he has returned. Quickly stab him. I'm going to have an hour. <laughs> Fine. We're all sitting here in the class. We're waiting for one hour. However long it takes. We'll sit in there. Uh, we'll sit on some... It's like a kitchen. It's a kitchen. Uh, you just sit in places that won't get in the way. Fionn's gonna elect to stand in a place that's kind of out of the way and just kind of watch the class. A lot of creatures, you're not sure what they are. They're, um... Prepare purified monster meat. Beatrice is going to watch curiously. Because she is curious. Is she but she's curious? only going to stay out of the way. My boy is curious how they... Purified monster meat. Yes, exactly. So my food is a very hard process. Fun. Do it correctly, you can take things like these little annoying fake leviathans and eat them. Obviously, you know that corruption and such from the taint of primordial energies. Not exactly safe for consumption. Usually, one would need an exarch purified unless they know how to handle the primordial cells, which is not something that can haunt. Though, there are also some alchemists who have blessed water. For quite a hefty price, usually going for a thousand gold a bottle, you can use it to boil the corruptions out of the meat. In this case, we are going to make nice and seared baked leviathan steak. Naiba is going to write down some notes. Corruption can be boiled out of the meat. <laughs> also, we're going to literally boiling the hell out of it. <laughs> the, the Englishman style of cooking. Boil it until it sinks if it floats. If it sinks, boil it till it floats. Now, this is what we call a <sighs> Ah, there it is. Briar Mother. Or rather, this is a Briar Mother's heart. They're, think angry tree people. Um, but not the good kind. There is a good kind of angry in it. <laughs> Regardless, it's worth noting is Briar Mothers often have some sort of Extremely corrupt, but very rare, naturally grown ingredient attached to them. This prior mother had a potato aspect to them. So their heart is essentially a giant potato. I'm going to do the same method of boiling it in blessed water so it can be safe for consumption. Then we're going to slice it up. And trying to cover it with lots of spices, mostly things like these borrow cloves. I've heard them called garlic. Not technically the word, but as long as it makes you happy. Pepper. These are not really safe peppers. So normally, unless they're prepared, correct? Because, um, belladonna peppers are very hot, and also slightly corrosive. I'm sorry, did they say Melodonna peppers? 
Belladonna. 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 As in, like, Nightshade? <laughs> I mean, not Nightshade, but... Works. It's only Nightshade if you find it in, in the Pale Moonlight. Fiona is getting hungry, listening to the lecture. <laughs> <laughs> After an hour and a half, they will have successfully prepared what's essentially one of the few instances of you ever having this chance, by the way. Steak and potatoes made out of monsters. It's very fancy. Smells like mother just used to make. Uh, I want to. Now I will give you all the ingredients necessary to prepare them at home. Whatever you do, don't try to skip a step. Everything will be boiled in these blessed waters. Or your family and you will die a horrible death from corruption. And you mortals are very weak. I mean, people are very weak. <laughs> and corruption destroys the soul. And then controls the body and makes you a husk. It's like forced marriage. <laughs> if you do good with this, I'll teach you how to make. Perhaps wine out of melusine blood. Oh, it was just an hour of torture. Hour and a half, roughly, of torture. Send me miserable noble noises. Sure. Sirius will bring over this singular plate and set it down at the table. You've all been standing around like retards. <laughs> standing around behind a student judgingly, probably making them nervous. <laughs> Distracting with cleavage. <laughs> <laughs> Distracting and critiquing. Oh, remember... Everyone can have one succubite candy, no more, or I will put it lightly. Destroy you. <clears throat> Fionn's gonna whisper. Excuse me. Whisper to the rest of the group. So, wait. Can I go as well? Jevin will nod a bit. Yep. Nice. If not kind of scary, but in a good way. And she's giving out succubi fruit candies? <coughs> she's a chef. She has access to this stuff. Uh, I don't think she said fruit. And she's <laughs> succubi candy. It's succubi candy. It's candy made out of the harvested essence of a succubi. Would you like one? Oh, even more potent, yes. I would like to try one. Well, I don't want to be the weirdo of the group. Let me give it a try, too. Fair warning. They cause boobs. I will save this for later. <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine note in Kevin's head I will give this to Ivy <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking uh, they'll cause boobs in women and enlargement of testicles in men Beatrice is going to look down at her boobs uh, I think I'm already pretty good uh, should probably just skip it serious will look down at herself Nibai will raise a hand. Large. Yes? What if you have both? 
or neither? It's honestly, I believe it's desire. Oh my goodness. It's extremely good. If that's what you want to happen, it probably sprout it. It's concentrated enough. I make them extremely concentrated. Because I usually in I, I enrapture with a little bit of magic a succubi matron and I systematically torture her until she's willing to give her essence over in pure despair. Please, I'm well, at the top of the food chain as a lich. You know. Anyways, I have all the things I need in my bag here. And they'll tap, tap their little bag on their hip and trawl their hood back up. Let's go. And they just kind of casually leave the lich word hanging there in the air as they leave. The aunt's going to look at Kevin. Oh, what? <laughs> Yay, <laughs> my aunt gets to come with us. Yay, Talk my second lich. Second? What? <laughs> hey, I'm trying to brush this conversation off at this point. Pop the candy in his mouth. Pop. <laughs> oh no. <clears throat> Naiva is going to put the candy into their inventory, intending to, like, just slowly suck on it later. Kevin has also added his to his inventory. So... I guess All that's right. what Beatrice is going to do. She's going to put it in their inventory. Just, like, take up one slot. Yes. Oh, get them. Slot. <coughs> you can only hold 99 of them at max. <laughs> How would you ever have that many? <laughs> exactly. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I mean, if you had a lot of those, that seems like something oh. to worry about. If you want, by the way, you could sell them. Potatoes. What did they say? <laughs> They're off. They told you somebody can eat the steak and potatoes if they want. I mean, you have Sin who just had already, as soon as she put the plate down, just like sleight of hand, pulled one of his hands out of his sleeve, snagged a potato with his fingers, and then just yum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought for sure Mob was gonna like scarf it down. Okay, I didn't know there was anything left. <laughs> no, Mob hasn't scarfed it down because he's too busy admiring the tastiness of it and the. The presentation, the beauty, the smell, looked perfect. Beatrice will have a little bit of beach to try. Naiva is going to take one of their um, thorn fishing hooks for, out of their I just inventory need to know and skewer uh, a uh, cube of meat, a cube of potato, and whatever sauce there is to go with it. Okay. You question what sauce did she make? Oh yes, she made uh, wisp mother sauce. That's right. Ooh, very light and fluffy. Yes, this is kind of terrifying for someone like her, being at the top of the monster food chain, literally cooking the other monster species. <laughs> 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 These are sentient. Some cases. Like the Wisp Mothers, sapient creatures. The weak should fear the strong. See no problem with this. <laughs> the weak should fear the long. Well, like also considering what Beatrice <laughs> is, she is not super concerned. After all, she and her mother are kind of... <laughs> In relation to the er earlier question, Kevin would also snag a chunk of the uh, the meat as well. Everyone that ate one or the other. Okay. When you eat, in this case, a monster, um, you're not mutation mages or anything like that, so that part doesn't matter. But you gain a token of experience that they have trapped in their body. Ooh. In this case, if this fake leviathan was level, like, 290. So a uh, level 290 enemy gives 29,000 experience, I think. So how much do we get from the chunk? Chunk. Is... 
Also, this seems like a really fast way of turning a a starting town into like the o most OP place on the planet. Just feed <laughs> everyone like like, like OP monster stats. And, uh, cook it up and all that, and give it to the people. It they seems get nice like an small. easy way until you realize uh, that thing has several one-hit abilities. Yeah, right, but so, it doesn't have to just be a leviathan. Like, if you could do this method for any of the monsters, then you could just, like, from as soon as a child is able to eat solid food, just feed them purified monster food. The issue is, the cost of purifying monster food is out of 99% of the populace's range. It is a thousand gold for five ounces of blessed water. That's a lot of money. People so, pay a premium. How much experience did you say again? 6,500. 6,500, all right. Oh, right. Worth noting, you only get that experience one time when you eat it. Okay. <clears throat> it's because it's literally a whole fucking experience to eat a monster. <laughs> it, it is definitely an experience. Absolutely. It's the most delicious fucking meal you've ever tasted. And you want to eat more. So the that, problem is, so does everyone else. <laughs> so that's for the Leviathan. What about the um, potato heart? The Briar Mother potato hearts. Uh, technically, <laughs> technically a potato heart? Uh, but now it's in like multiple... Regardless, heart pieces. Heartlets. Hey, yeah, I like that word. Heartlets. Um, what is that going to give? 3208. All right. All right. Enjoy the meal. Oh yes, that was amazing. I it's probably some of the best food I've ever tasted. It was an experience, certainly. Guess <laughs> <laughs> what? Another the best, the best fucking part about you coming to this college. What? The other college is literally half a day away because they're sister colleges. Oh. <laughs> You both went the same way and split up like a day early and went down different roads that technically still connect to each other at the midpoint. Oh, great. It's that <laughs> illusion of choice picture. I know! I mean, how do you like that? <laughs> I did that just to be an ass, but I wanted to point that out. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. <laughs> I can imagine the best noticing each other on the road being race you there. <laughs> I, I mean, once you get outside after you're all eating and Mob has decided to carry the plate for you fucking gremlins. Uh Naiba um, was entirely okay with just having like the one bite of each thing. As was Fion. Well, since you all have had your bite, I think it's only fitting that Kevin as the veteran instructor and the one who takes care of us, it's to have the rest of the meal himself. Your stapler in here. It does make no. sense. We're all agreed on that. There's a. Feel yeah. just sucking on his piece of candy. It's really good. Thank you. Sorry if you get a mild illness from my blood, though. I had to bind the succubus essence of this mortal plane since it's dead. And I'm still here, so I might be a transfusion. And a healthy substitute for milk. It is a healthy substitute for milk. Same protein content and fat. And you can substitute blood with coconut water. That's true. Well, okay, maybe not a complete substitution. You can't replace all of the blood in someone's body with coconut water. No, but you can easily enough replace it with... <clears throat> oh. Uh, Kevin. Mm -hmm. The 
party is elected to give you the remainder of the monster meal since you do a good job as a lead uh, adult. He is now very quiet because he has a mouth full of steak. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny though, when you say that you need to like go and rather you're leaving, Sirius doesn't go the way your carriage is. They take a left and start heading towards another gate. Um, they haven't told anybody where they're going. She's going to take her own carriage. So she's she's just kind of following curiously. She'd probably follow her. That the steak immediately goes back in the mouth. <laughs> are are we not? Uh, oh, okay, I guess we're going this way. Just walk up to the gate guard and just kind of wave a hand at his face, making him wake back up at the last second and look around confused because he was napping and now he's awake. Then she'll just leave. You get the feeling that she wasn't technically supposed to be here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can. I got a headache. Again with these fucking migraines. You should drink more water. Thank you, random stranger. Now get off campus. <laughs> <laughs> On our way. It's too bad. Should go see an apothecary. Oh, here's my magic gun. <laughs> leaving. Leon <laughs> is leaving. <coughs> and then just Sirius seems to just continuously just be walking. Do have uh, a guess. carriage on the other side if you don't want to walk. Why would I need to use a carriage? I'm just going to the other college to get my husband, and then we'll leave. Someone go get the carriage and meet at the other college? Why? The other college is at most a day's journey on foot. You have to sleep. You don't have to sleep, so it's more like seven hours. Suppose we could ride your carriage. Might as well. Well, I'll look more official. We do have to return it at some point. <laughs> yes, that is true. We got in trouble with the with our last guild, with the guild, uh, with our uh, home guild for running into bandits that shot me. <laughs> we should take better care of this one. Let's take. It. Nah, let's just make it a running theme where we wreck every carriage we get. <laughs> no, that's, that, that is not how you progress through the ranks. Hey, if Shadow's traveling with you, you just might. <laughs> no, right. we'll all just be Shadow. <laughs> no, you can't do that. We'll, we'll all just get boots of walking. That way we don't have to have a carriage. We can just travel anywhere. <laughs> that's just what they'll do. Even without <laughs> you. Well, they've they had already turned around and started going around the outside of the village. They all the way, way to where your carriage is supposed to be. They'll happily get inside. And basically commandeer it. <laughs> We're leaving. Run. Bye man. Oh, inside. I feel like we're just kind of along for the ride now. Well, this is an escort mission. <coughs> Not exactly uh, do done you have either. anything to give me? Oh, yes. Um, uh, where is it? Aha! He'll produce some sort of scroll that nobody was made privy to until now and hand it over. Yeah. 
Dad said not to share that with anyone until I got to you. Leon is slightly suspect. It says. She says, let's see what it says, and then she just kind of holds it, and then, oh, okay, then. Interesting. <laughs> just puts it in her bag. Useful skill. <laughs> so. Hood undrawn. God, that is exactly to the small of her ass. Well, Vega got that part of her hair straight, right? Any questions? Or are we just going to awkwardly wait for a couple of hours while we had to be at college? I have a question. Well? That was it. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Beatrice is just going to reach over and pat her on the head. <laughs> if I wasn't married, I would probably fish your soul. Give him that he was going to say something, but probably decided better against it. Speaking of... Oh, he was enslaved to my father. Yeah, from what I understand, that sounds... Then that kind of sounds fitting for him. According to my mother, that's not the first time he's been enslaved by somebody. It was happy enslavement. We fed him, treated him well. Father did do some questionable experiments on him in the... in the, uh... Assumption it would help, and most of it did. So, sometimes I wonder if it was just Stockholm Central. Anyways, Internet, why you cut out? <clears throat> My toilet. Oh, I remember my question. Can you teach me to do stuff? Kinds of uh, stuff. Here's the rather big question. Uh, like... Uh, well, you said you were working with, like, spirits like wisps and succubi and stuff. Like, I also work with spirits, so maybe you can teach me something about that. Right there. Well, that's a good point. I dominate them and control them and force them to do what I want for fear of repression. I am a master of death. And all things of the other side or this shall serve me. It's simple as that. All I do is remind them why. I guess I could teach you how to dominate a soul when you're much higher level. I could teach you more things about souls and spirits. All manner of creatures. Then maybe you could just tell me more about how spirits work? Like, I don't know, like a textbook lesson maybe? Not necessarily a lesson in, like, the practical application. You want to know how they work? Well, I mean, I never received a formal education on it. Spirits work in interesting ways. It works a lot like children. They're very confused most of the time. They 
dictates most of their actions. They're capable of amazing things with a guiding hand. They're also capable of horrible things without one or with the correct guiding hand. Best way to deal with a spirit and that I deal with them is reminding it that without you, it has no place here. You are its tether, its light, its beacon, its joy. You are its existence. And without you, it is just a wisp in the wind. Helpless, waiting to be excised by some ecclesiast with a itchy scripture finger. But I suppose you could take the more pacifistic and weak method and try and cooperate with them and learn that disgusting soul magic that for you. I would just want to do that. I wouldn't teach you that. But I do have a functional textbook somewhere at my home that my father wrote of his understanding of soul magic and how to use that specific type. The domination kind. Well, that's the kind that I use. That's my father before me. Proper death mage. <clears throat> it sounds kind of manipulative, though. Like, isn't that just depressing? It's not manipulative. Here. Yeah. One's ability, or rather right, to feel manipulated, judged, and controlled goes out the instant they're stupid enough to lose their life. They should thank you as someone. They have thanked and thanked you many a time. Thanks have been given insurmountable degree for what I've done. It's not manipulative at all. Well, I guess in logically, by definition, it is the manipulation of, in a literal sense, not emotionally so much. It's just, why would I ever not use my dominion over death and spirits to its fullest advantage? So many dead lying around. I know, really they're everywhere. Does it hurt anyone if some poor soul is shown a higher purpose through <coughs> my decision-making? Is fulfilled in death in a way that they were completely unable to achieve in life? I suppose that's a little more noble. The way you were describing it initially sounded very, uh, evil, I guess? I don't evil. know. Evil? It's I a mean, matter of perspective. I know. I mean, there's people out there who see what I do and think I'm crazy and evil. You're the furthest thing from evil. If you're evil, then I'm goddamn malevolence incarnate. Beatrice is gonna snicker slightly. <laughs> Oh, you just what some people think of my mother and I. <laughs> Personally, evil drives them wild. In good ways. Husbands like that, though he was always a bit of a horn dog before. <laughs> you know, I never got to meet Shadow. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about them? They're sweethearts. They're a delight. They're very accepting of people. 
That's just one of the reasons I care for them so much. They didn't care about me or who I was or who my father was. What the stigma his name and mine has. He loves me for me. And he doesn't mind any of my habits. No matter how questionable or socially unaccepted they might be. Habits like what? I think the one that really scares most people is I like to stare into their souls and see their potential. It leaves them with a sense of emptiness for a few minutes and a frozen chest, but it's harmless. Oh, I think my mother can do that. <laughs> I haven't had my potential to find it forever. I've seen just like a swell guy from what I've heard of him. I think I've met him a few times, just briefly, when I was rather young. Seems like a nice guy. He's nice. He's misunderstood. Greatly. And he often puts his own foot in his mouth when he's trying to help because he's a bleeding heart. Sometimes aggravatingly so to the point where I just want to stitch him up with a knife. <laughs> he definitely comes off as a sweetheart. Just... Would you say unlucky? Yes. You're lucky enough, I suppose. You're still alive. Uh... Oh, and he is a massive whore. Was a massive whore. Correction. <laughs> he choked in the last bit of his <laughs> last bit of that steak he had. <laughs> well, that's not so bad as long as they're making money doing what they love. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, come to think of it, neither of us actually make that much money. Almost the entirety of our money comes from a, pre a predetermined amount of allocated treasure granted to us by my father as a wedding gift. Oh. That looks rather sweet of your father. He's a very generous man. I don't understand why so many people are scared of him. Well, if he's powerful, then people are generally afraid of power. He's power incarnate. I'm proud to call him my father, or at least my creator. I'm not entirely certain if I was born from a living womb. Oh, that doesn't matter. They're your father if you think they are. Well, I know that I am. They were the first thing I remember seeing when my eyes opened. Well, there that in the cradle my head was in. Beyond. Who is your father? You. You know. <laughs> you should. Ah, oh, you told them, didn't you? No. <laughs> I don't tell most people who my by marriage and technically by blood uh, I think who my uh, granddad is. I can imagine it might cause some issues for certain people. He causes a lot of issues. They're harmless, though. Mostly passive-aggressive signs left everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, there's one. And they'll point out the window to a sign on a tree <laughs> that says, Yeah, cut me down now, pussy. <laughs> and it's in reference to the fact that there's what looks like eight feet of steel wrapped around every tree for several hundred feet. <laughs> 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 that 
just mean. How are they going to get their houses down? Or get their houses built? <laughs> oh, they'll have to dig under the tree to get it. <laughs> <laughs> There's just depressed oh, looking feeling like you take your wood. If you ask me, that right there isn't a bad thing. He's giving them a sense of determination to get the house lumber and all the lumber that they need. And he's giving them free quality steel to make arms with and more axes. Man. Interesting. And if you ask me, it's a little funny. Just don't tell him you think it's funny, or he'll never stop. <laughs> Did he stop anyway? It, uh, he, by the sounds of it, it doesn't sound like the tapes just stop doing something. He doesn't stop, but the level of intensity increases the more feedback he gets. Well, I bet you Shadow gave him plenty of positive feedback. Shadow gave a lot of us plenty of positive feedback. Add a double on bad draft. Yeah. So I approve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, we're almost there. <coughs> it's a little bit differently for Shadow, by the way. How is it for Shadow? Bonnie's like, oh, there he is. Come with me, good sir. Literally puts in a fucking bear hug and carries off. <laughs> <laughs> Come with you? me. I'm being Wait, kidnapped. Yes. <laughs> I'm not letting you go. We're leaving. I've got questions. You can answer. <laughs> Great. Put them in a book. Publish it and make money. We're leaving. Where are we going? Where are you taking me? Don't you worry about where we're going. We're just leaving. <laughs> that makes me increasingly worried. <laughs> where go find your wife? Also, why do you have such a large ass? You're a man. <laughs> just had one. Just always had one. Leave my ass out of this. <laughs> Fucking Faraji just... See, I think the problem is you don't leave your ass out of it. <laughs> High five, close. Oh, ah, oh, shit, he's drooling. <laughs> it's nice to see you all again, but I would like to know where you're taking me. And Bonnie will eventually yeah. set you down. <laughs> that carriage is about 20 minutes from getting there, but you can see it on the road, that connecting road to the other college. What else did you bring with you? Don't you worry about who I brought with me, young sir. Um, I don't want to get punched because I know exactly whose daughter you are. And I'll yeah. punch you heckin' real good right in your arm, man. And you'll probably dislocate it. <laughs> well, yes, that would be the goal of punching you in your arm, would be dislocated, wouldn't it? Anyways, yes, don't worry please. about me. <laughs> Uh, when yeah, we get actually, actually when we get there and the oh. carriage actually pulls up, I want to have uh, Nivi open the door for Shadow to get in and uh, say, "Shadow, this is an intervention. <laughs> 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 we have your wife in here. We're gonna have a talk." <laughs> 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 Bear back. Just been manhandled. <laughs> I just got manhandled by a hill. <laughs> this is what you get. Yay, allergies. <laughs> All right. Yandra just kind of appearing out of thin fucking air. 
Voice message. Be right back. Okay. <coughs> That's oh. not how you breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay over there, Derg? Trying to inhale a bubble. It felt like glass. <laughs> a bubble. That's all I know. Um, I know that um, in. Uh, seven seven days to die. You can accidentally eat uh, crushed up glass, and it will kill you. Mm. Is it detectable? I I found this out the hard way. Because normally one would not eat crushed up glass. Correct. Because it said eat, and I didn't read what it was. I'm like, okay, I need some. I need to get my food up. <laughs> Internal bleeding. If you don't find a hospital soon, you will die. <laughs> oh well. <yeah>. Well, cats. <laughs> if you don't find a what, you will die. Uh, I found out in seven days to die, you can accidentally eat pow uh, <laughs> Eat glass. glass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. If you don't find a what, though? A hospital. No, if you don't find a med kit. You don't need a whole fucking yeah. hospital. Well, I didn't have either of those. Yeah, hey, you did. Hospitals are always on the map. They're really big, too. Just pain in the ass to get into. I, was, I had just started the game. Yeah, if you started a Navis game, of course you did. Cause alpha. But I'm thinking of where you started, it was either west or it was the east. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Violent retrieval of shadow completed. <laughs> This bitch coming with me. <laughs> Everyone's returning. Back to the shitter. Yay, city sounds. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose it means that we're going to have to separate. And me and Shadow will go somewhere else. You young ones will have to return home. I'm supposed to bring um, Shadow and Sirius back? We're supposed We're... to go see my sister in Ilgamar, uh, the Progadesh province. See what she requires. But you will have completed this quest. So you'll have to return it to your guild. That's fair. Alright. Alternatively, if you don't mind, I'd like to take a few days once we're back there. I know it's going to take like five days, six days to get back, but I'd take a few days to catch my breath and catch my brain. Think about everything before we go all the way back. <clears throat> that boring guild. <laughs> That sounds okay to me. Don't mind staying around here and seeing what goes on. Of course, we could just turn the mission in here, get the quest reward here, and um, adventure here, I guess. And do you want to stay here? I do. Well, certainly interesting. We should send back some info to... Yeah, see if I can send some mail back. I'm sure uh, Nora would like to come out for a trip. And again. Yeah. Nah. Oh, no. Can you 
wouldn't you be able to do the paperwork for a guild transfer here at the guild you want to come to? I would be able to, yes. Are you going to? Or are you going to come back to the other? I mean, I'm going to come back to the other one. It's just, I'd like to stay here and tactically collect myself for a few days. Well, we can... I see no problem with turning the quest in here and getting that done, so nobody has to worry about anything. Just fucking <laughs> sin. It's like how sin looked at Mob at the when he heard the words tactically collect myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's like tactical retreat. <clears throat> See, Beatrice just assumes that he wants to be with his lady friend for a little while longer. That's exactly that's what, what it is. That's what, yeah. Bill, you all judging me, and all I know is you better fucking stop it. Oh, there's no judgment here. I don't blame you at all. She seems like a very What's nice lady, on? after all. Who seems like a very nice lady? But you have to open your mouth, Kevin! <laughs> uh, I'll be right back. I'm getting some water. Come here! I want to make a pair did, of boots out of you! <laughs> did Kevin and all of them get out of the carriage? No, you all got put back in it, because you're leaving back immediately. Considering that their house is actually in the capital city, you gotta go yeah. back there. Once Shadow got back in the carriage, come on! Where you been, bud? How long's it been? Uh, not long enough. About 20 or so, I think. I don't know. I'm, I'm bad at math. Bad at yeah. a lot of things, aren't you? So, why do you need me and my wife? I didn't do it, I swear. <laughs> Whatever it is this time, I didn't do it. I've been at the bar, I've been at college. Drake and family requested us to go locate your, locate your wife. And I think you're coming along too because I honestly didn't get that far into the plan. I just know that we were supposed to find your wife. And you're coming too. Hmm. Going to? I don't, I don't know. There was food. I got distracted. <laughs> that sounds about right for you. Drake uses underhand tactics as always. I think the time he cut off my arm. <clears throat> uh, Drake's good people. Well, you are what you eat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Ow. <laughs> Just fucking ow. God, that's my father. I mean, you're not wrong, but... <laughs> I guess it's better than being a pile of screaming psychic children. Bob, I remember the last time I saw you, you barely came up to my shin. Yeah, oh, now I'm bigger than you. I know that, but I remember that you bit my shin, and your father told me to literally beat you off with a chair leg. Yeah, pussy. Not my fault you <laughs> taste good. Don't be made of meat if you don't want me to bite you. I've heard people say he tasted good too, but I don't think it was in text. Beatrice, it's been a while. How's, how's the family? Uh, pretty good. Uh... Pretty good. My mother's become a mage lord now. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, she's a mage lord now. Oh. Oh. Yeah. And we got to see, we got to see our families. Well, a good portion of us got to see our families recently. Very nice. We cleared our first, uh, what was it, handful of stuff our dungeon? Yeah. They did excellently. So, uh, That's great. I'm pissed. I had to cook my own food. I couldn't eat anything in there. 
<laughs> you always did have a what is it? What are, what are the words I'm like? You always had a higher a standard for food. A refined yeah. palate. Yeah. yeah, a refined palate. Thank you. Should you say um, accepting one, but you no. Know. If anybody notices, Shadow would be wearing a choker with a little gem on it. Hmm. Such as King. Hey. Hmm. What makes me a skank now? Just judgmental snake sounds. It's not a sex thing, you imbecile. Literally how he's kept alive. Ah, oh, I'll say ignorance is uh, ignorance is my key for making it through life. It's worked oh, so far. Yeah. And how many times have you had to get unstuck from a bear trap? None. I know not to fuck with those. I know what those. How many times you fall over your own legs when you first got them? <laughs> hey, we don't talk about that, okay? <laughs> They are way different than those awesome electric mechanical ones that uh, Fionn's mom made for them. Well, of course, those things are awesome. Yeah. Oh, little Fionn. Not little anymore. I know that. Call me kitten. Do something. Yeah. That. That's for your moms. Um, How are Alana? They're pretty good. Ima works at the at the tavern, and um, still. His other mom, mom also works at the tavern. <laughs> but I know that she owns it. No shit, dumbass. But she also works at it. Listen, just saying. The only mom I care about there is Sin stepmom. <laughs> oh, you, you have good taste. <laughs> yeah. So this is Dan. <clears throat> it's very concerning. You just see Sin sitting beside Mob, and he slowly like moves a hand out of a sleeve, brings a finger up, and just um. <laughs> when Mob's not looking, he reaches over, sticks it in his ear, and then you can hear that slow crisp of ice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's stuck! That's such a low blow. <laughs> Ow! Ooh, Ow! Hey! <laughs> This? Oh, cool! It gets worse! <laughs> well, um... There's no I helping that. Too hard. Right I, might off. I just... It's evil, because Sin slowly pulls his finger out, leaving a perfect ice sculpture in his ear. <laughs> I'm back. Welcome back. Oh, yes, you're get back to the sounds of ah! on the ground because Ma made a comment that got sent to not only give him a wet willy but proceed to freeze it inside of his ear. Oh, wonderful! As I <laughs> choke on water. <laughs> you don't have to ask me how I'm doing, good sir. But next time, too, it's common courtesy to address the whole room. Not just those you know. I was, I was getting that into everyone. Here I am, having had enough time to formulate a painful plan for him. <laughs> I'm sin by Honestly, the way. Honestly, that's uh, something I would have done too. <laughs> In case Although, you know, uh, for different I'm, reasons. Nice to meet you, Sin. I'm the guy. Like, I'll Sin just gonna reach over and put a hand on Beatrice's head. Just 
I know, dear. <laughs> so she's just gonna snicker a little. For you, son. One of them. Oh. They're all. Beatrice's boyfriend. That's cool. Uh, uh, your mom? If I may ask. Masa. Oh. Big pretty bird lady. Stepmother's Navy. A quickly known as Boob Fox. <laughs> I remember Ivy very well. Well, it's sure. very it's hard to long. remember those credentials. This is true. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm recovering. Oh my god. Uh... Who else in the carriage does Shadow not recognize? Besides Nyvi. There's drooling Klaus. Ah, I see you picked up a uh, someone that also is also affected by drool. They cabin to him. The sign. Turn to uh, Nibai and uh, you, Miss. She's our pet. <laughs> no, I'm not. Say you our. Me know. Has to say our healer. And fellow uh, rookie adventurer. Yeah. These idiots wouldn't be alive if I wasn't here. Oh, to be fair, I'd be alive just fine. Well, you're not Lord. an idiot, are you? That's true. I'm also I'm very capable in combat. Get out of my ear. Oh, Careful, it's bleeding. Hey, look, I can't, I can't hear now. I can hear in this one, though. I'm sure it'll grow back. This does. If you're anything like your father, it'll grow back. Don't be upset. He's better than his father. <laughs> Cursed to regenerate. And he's a zombie. Huh. <clears throat> yeah. The terrible okay. undead. You want to know the funny thing? This is all dramatizations. I don't feel anything. But I don't want to. Yeah. Say. Well, what about my abilities? I know. Voluntary disabling of my nervous system. Well, not my nervous system. My central nervous system functions fully. But my nervous receptors, that pain receptors? dead, and just like that, I can just <laughs> rip a finger off. Ah! Look at that blood. Get up. Dion, keep not. It's just a <laughs> finger. Dion, get past this. You're an adult. Maybe if you had a taste, you'd be a little more, uh, a little more Here. understanding. Lick my stump. Lick my finger no. stump. Thumb. <laughs> Lick the thumb. No. No. The thumb stump. Lick it. Oh. Lick I it! Oh. I can. I, I will fucking grab you. And listen here. I'm going to put my arm up your ass and work your fucking heart like a sock puppet if you don't lick my thumb. Oh. <laughs> Sit! <laughs> Come here! Oh, you can't make me. So there's that fight going on in the corner. <laughs> Leg it! No! <laughs> I can kind of see it going on like that one uh, video that, that give me, give me your cum. <laughs> I, I thought it'd be more like the give me your cum video. No, I was that more like that. Give me that butt! Give me that butt. No. Oh. <laughs> uh. yeah, I don't know. It did have the give me your cum energy. Because of <laughs> how aggressive Bob is. Oh, hey, Kevin. 
part of the Adventurer's Guild now, so what am I... What weapons do you have? <laughs> well, I'm actually in the middle of cross-training, but normally I'm using a cannon lance, to which he will equip, and, or equip it and give the chambers a spin. 33 millimeter. Very nice. Ooh, best of big boy rounds. Well, I wouldn't say big boy, there's big. Or there's the much big boy. <laughs> Oh, trust me, right? This work. He'll hand him over a couple of the uh, uh, high explosive incendiary arm piercing high explosives. The TDAP. Heat up. Yeah. Very nice. I like this. Yeah, we'll take the shell and examine it. Very nice. Eh. Damn, you waited too long to lick the thump. The finger's growing back. Good job. <laughs> it means you have something to chew on for extra flavor. Watch it grow back, then. Oh, it's good. Just, to close just... nope. Stop being a coward and accept mortality in reverse. <laughs> nope. I got... What's the cellular division? No. Learn. No. I am an anatomy doll! Use me! <laughs> no! That's not my kink! So, hey, wait a second. So if someone opens them up and then sticks something inside of them, does the thing that got stuck inside get pushed out, or do they just grow around it? The thing that got stuck inside will get, uh, well, pushed out of them. Okay. Just cellular, cellular growth. During my all the adventures, I guess his enslavement. My... Don't let him sugarcoat it. <laughs> During my uh, employment, enslavement, <laughs> enslavement, <clears throat> I've learned a couple tricks. I've become a spellblade. Ooh, that sounds very cool. It is very it's cool. Terrible. Thank you, dancer. Not that kind of <laughs> The kind that oh, needs right. a pull, or...? What? <laughs> they don't have a pull. Well, I mean... Oh, they don't have a pull. But basically, I'm becoming the kind of stabs... If you're anything like your mom, you're gonna stab something. Light it on fire. Seems like they are aiming to well, be a Well, with my new armor, that um, both. <laughs> they seem less about the fire and more about the blood everywhere. Yes, I, that, that I'm the one that does seem to be the tendency. Yeah, I, I'm the one that sets things on fire. Huh. All this okay. talk of death and blood and things burning is making me quite damaged. Quite what? Damaged. It's a term for... It, I understand basic education. Yeah. I'm a supremacist. Sorry. <clears throat> so, by the way, who does Mob have a crush on now that he's focused on trying to find force his friend to look for? Well, there is a uh, lady. Shut your a fucking mouth, guy. Fiona! Or I'll rip your jaw off. I think I have the armor for uh, for this part of the conversation. Um, <laughs> a very a very lovely centaur in the uh, guild. Oh, that's kinky. The hell does it have to do with kinks? <laughs> well, a lot of things have to do with kinks. Yeah, no, 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 no. See, if they're you, people, it, it does. If they're me, person, doesn't. Because I didn't say, oh boy, a horse ass. I want to hump it. No, I seen a beautiful face with the softest and most tender eyes I have ever seen. 
and hair that looks like summer fire. And I'm thinking, my God, this is the most beautiful woman I've the laid eyes upon. She is very beautiful. But the split peach is a nice bonus, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It's fucking spacious, and I need that in a lover, because well, that's the only reason I haven't hit on Beatrice. I physically don't think she could handle me. That oh, insane no, would not. stab me. Death. Yeah, I know that feeling in the mob. How I felt when I first met my little death blossom here. Keep in mind, I'm older. Larger than you. <laughs> and older. Significantly. So she's more like a death magnolia. Don't hurt him too badly. He's still part of the, he's still part of the crew. I don't know if a magnolia would be an insult. They're very pretty. Exactly, they're gorgeous flowers. Say I they're not. A chrysanthemum. Actually, no. I like a nice spring iris. Just Ooh, that's gorgeous. a very pretty. Like you be like this all the time. You're such a deviant. You have such. <laughs> oh. I'm warning me about your souling. No, it's icky when you touch souls. Because <laughs> if you touch my soul, then my soul's touching every other soul you've ever touched, and that's not okay. I need it. <laughs> it's icky deal. Is that the uh, same logic as uh, if you kiss a girl that's been with a lot of guys, you're also kissing all those guys? It's more along the line of the logic. If a chick lets you fuck her in the butt, you're also having every penis that's ever been in her butt on your penis, and that's just gross. <laughs> kind of logic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like how Mob has trained to deflect his own his own. Ants, everything. <laughs> <laughs> I am tempered. My mind is a weapon. My body is a temple. <laughs> then why are you constantly graffiti in your temple, Bob? I'm always. <laughs> I'm not graffitiing it. First off, all right. Secondly, it's, uh, it's always renov. I'm always renovating it because I care about it. I'm always taking the time to have. Upkeep and maintenance performed. Thank you. Sounds like end of the end the traveling. Fion is gonna get his brush and start brushing his mane. Sounds like your temple costs a lot of tax. I am a very high maintenance person. Actually, that's a lie. I'm very simplistic in nature. Minimalist. But I. I can see you opening up a very high-end restaurant in the future. Uh, maybe. I wouldn't invite people, so I... If you don't know how to find your way to true, truly good food, you don't need that food. Oh, I've found my way to amazing food. Some of the things no. that Siri can cook. He can cook. Seriously. I promise you. Oh. <clears throat> See. Anyways, I'm gonna sleep because it's getting dark out. And Siri, I'm gonna ask you a question nicely since you know you don't have to sleep or if you do anything. You continuously keep us traveling, and if you have to do death magic on the horses, I don't know if the grill, the guild would be happy about people using magic on their horses. But they could have horses instead of horses; they could charge more. 
I'd increase their rarity, thus making them better. Yeah. <coughs> you don't need to stop. I'll do what I can. Yay. Gotta go sleep over here now. Or so you can try and get some sort of space with all these seats. To kindly ask Sin and Bonnie to not fornicate whilst I'm trying to sleep, or I will bite something low hanging. <laughs> Means you, Beatrice, stop being attractive to them. I will try not to tease them. <laughs> Thank you. Now she's. Shadow's gonna look over at Fionn. What about you, Fionn? You found a special girl yet? Tell them about that time with your parents, that crazy stuff that you did. You know, when you try to fist fight your mom, punch her in the boob, and she kicks you through a window. Did he make that? Did he make like, the, the angry cat sound? Got, just got punted. No, <laughs> it's more long lines. You came with that fucking window. <laughs> uh, down. Mob will in fact go lie down on the floor, face down. Since he's sleeping, it's probably logic. Same. I'll take first right. watch in case anything it's happens. True. Dude, you just, just sleep. I, trust me, sleep is for the weak, and I'm not the weak. You're anything but weak, huh? I know. Much of it. Stay up. Used to staying up late. So Beatrice will find herself a cozy little spot to curl up and sleep. And I'm sure she'll have people <laughs> snuggling her. <laughs> I'd like to point out just Yeah, it's fucking you got Sin and Bonnie trying to make some sort of sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I figured that was gonna happen. <clears throat> Now if I just lies on top. Fionn's <laughs> <laughs> just over there in the corner. Just kind of snuggled up into it. There may or may not be a small spell to help these people below the level fucking 60 sleep. <laughs> Courtesy of the evil. Not, well, perspectively evil. Kind of, sort of, not really evil. I suppose we can talk now, Kevin, since you have a myriad of questions. Children are asleep. Yeah. Great questions. I was just gonna oh. wait until I got tired, but. Eh. I guess he's okay with accepting it. Mother. Just, just as a side note, you are kind of quiet for me. Bump your volume. Wait, what's going on? You're coming through kind of quiet for me. Did not hear what uh, you just said. Let me just bump your volume. <laughs> mm, okay. So what was said, I apologize. I just thought you had questions. I don't know. No reason to boop my snoot and did anything. Boop. She will, in fact, boop your snoot. <laughs> How's life at the guild, Kevin? Oh, decent. Good pay, good food. Never really anything boring going around. We had a death. We had a 
what's it called? We had a uh, assassination attempt almost. Didn't go well. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't found it anymore because no one needs to tell anyone of uh, my rank. Under, or what is it? Up, still above my rank. I just, the only reason I know about it is because I was kind of in the middle part of it. Uh, if it's any consolation, I suppose I could tell you now some of those cement while they're asleep. Mm-hmm. The reason that my sister wants me is because the guild wants to help hire uh, as a sort of investigator deterrent. And they've contacted Strike because they feel like having a Notorious a former Osmium involved in things would deter this plot from developing further. But for all intents and purposes, it seems that you have stumbled into something far, far greater and more sinister than just somebody trying to kill an adventurer. That day, in the (laughs) woods... Yeah. What you stumbled upon was an elite, the rank of platinum, being chased and hunted by several exarchs. Exarchs are usually only employed by the church. Upon further investigation of Oliver, Guildmaster, has stumbled onto her and covered and shown light on a plot uh his worst fears as you know there's been a shaky history between the church of omnius or the way of all one i think as they call it in some cases and the adventurers guild for about a part of 500 years now <laughs> Ever since the usurpation of the original, or uh, original royal family. Hearing something about, I can even even not knowing the history, I can understand how there would be tensions between a an unaffiliated, mostly unaffiliated, essentially mercenary group, highly militant, or rather, at least influential. Theocratic. For a quick summary, 500 years ago, tensions in the royal palace of what they call Ilva Romana now, at the time it was Ilvamer, it reached a peak between one half of the fat, well, technically between a majority of the family and a minor. The majority of the family was okay with utilizing the Church of Omnius, which is their god, and, well, their main god, the whole thing. They were okay with using the Church of Omnius as a tool to control the populace of the royal family power. Because people are sheep, they need herded. So was the best way it's aptly described, according to my father, who was there to witness this event from start to finish. This minority was a singular, singular man and his very small family and loyal, loyal hold that he had. Or Whatever they call it. He, um, is considered a traitor because he believed that the royal family's shortcomings weren't because of a lack of control of the peasants, because of a lack of capability of the royalty. He knew that the peasants, the people, the citizens would do great things if a new set of laws and a new 
monarch was established. He wanted to be that monarch himself. But they didn't want it because he was first in line, not good enough. So he sided with the Adventurers Guild, talked to them, created a plot. This is where all of the problems started. This plot as you can see, came through to collision, full collision, mind you. Um, excuse me. The gentleman was named um, Leaf. His name was Roshan for mm. fucking nigh by spirit over this. Hey, that's me. Now the question is: Does uh, serious notice? Oh yes, they look right at him, and he just kind of hides immediately. <laughs> oh, did, did you see something? Anyways. Roshan for leader of the Yes, I am Hell. I am apparently receiving text. These have to be answered, excuse me. These are from my parents who are currently about five hours away. That sounds kind of important. Oh, sorry. <laughs> This gentleman went by the name of Rosenfo Meyerhausen. And Kevin, the name Meyerhausen sounds extremely familiar to you because you remember that is the current royal family's last name. Uh, well, that and pretty sure we were in their, one of their mausoleums at one Rosenfo was a good man. He had a supportive and loving family and friends who agreed to do this with him because they cared about the whole of the land. They didn't just want their own prosperity. They wanted prosperity for everyone. And it was a very hard decision along <coughs> Long time ago, one of the original guild masters, at least, I believe his name was um, Keen Splitter. Last name? Hmm. I don't really remember. It's been a little while since I've had to do a history class. Oh. The last name still sounds familiar because of the current ruling family and such, but the person you're talking about, they I'm pretty sure they were trying to get rid of him. This doesn't exactly line up with what you're telling me. Not, not that I'm trying to call you a liar, just it doesn't sound right. Because the mausoleum had him buried there, yes, but he was essentially referred to as an as a traitor and cursed one and all these other rather horrible things. Yes, he was. Because when he won, he went back to his family for mercy, trying to see if they'd accept him. And they executed the poor bastard. And he knew it would happen. That's part. Father said that amused him. Something really only 
humans or well mortals is knowingly go to their deaths having achieved something great to truly be at peace and i admire <laughs> well I suppose wanting wanting what's best for the people who stand against your family <sighs> They led to a full on war. <coughs> the Church of Omnius used their enthralled peasant army and their own seasoned, sprightly adventurers. Solid stock, but nothing compared to what the guild had prepared. Quite a bloody war. Lasted several weeks. But by the end of it, so did successfully stormed the entirety of Royal Hall and they captured the immediate royal family and then took them to be tried for fair reasons, not just executed. Rosenforth he decided to not take the throne though. Or well he did for a time take the throne after this civil war that they had. Put a lot of things in place, created the empire that you know now that has a imperial council, the empress, as they currently serve. Though it does change, emperor, emperor, empress, whomever is duly elected by the council, thus wanted by the people. But because he wasn't petty, though because he was an extremely foolish and optimistic man, Rose and Forth allowed the church to stay behind. Now, 500 years later, they are strong enough to lash out their revenge against the guild. Thus, their plot. They want to destroy the guild, your guild, and to kill everyone there. Like some sort of holy crusade against adventurers. And they enlisted some of the most capable that they can from all corners of the world. Yeah, I'll go ahead. I don't know much about their capabilities, but we've got some pretty heavy hitters in our in our corner. But uh, yeah. God, it's gonna be brutal. They know that. We are here to simply investigate of Something, something stupid they're planning. Something that would earn an osmium or two leaving. Hmm. Not to mention, they've many a times, thankfully, unsuccessfully, tried to lure the High King of Nemanthia. Queen into war. <coughs> well, powers and abilities aside, do they really think that a war war with a with a superpower would work well for them? Well, the plan wasn't to go after the guild. It was to systematically kill and slaughter every single rookie. And work their way up the ladder, thinning your out numbers. Just wage a war of attrition and spread the uh, osmiums and higher ranks. That's rather devious. It's the only way that you can fight a giant. You have to tire it. They're fully aware of the dangerous threats that exist. The hell. At this guild alone here, there's creatures like God Lazilma. You seen him? I I may have, but I'm not too familiar with this guild. He's so. a half elf, but he's possibly one of the most terrifying entities I've ever seen in mortal flesh. He has a primordial magic. <laughs> 
as a born curse that allows him to issue commands and cause pain. Oh, oh you're right. His no, words do become action. That's he is scary. <clears throat> I suppose if they could, I don't know much about his ability aside from like you said. But do you think he could address an entire crowd, or would that hurt him or something? It doesn't take much out of a human to scream at an ant hill, does it? What? <coughs> <coughs> hmm. That's what we're here for. Worst case scenario. To help me. Oh, I do know all of her. I've known him through my father, who's helped a few times with me. They've drew the first blood by attacking Oliver's adventurers. He views them as children, because each and every one is a valued member of his family in his eyes. Oliver won't stop now. He will draw blood. And he will sink its fucking hooks to the spine of every single person wrapped up in this plot and drag them through the streets by force if he has to to atone for their sins. Or he'll just do what he did five years ago when they had no choice. And he'll unleash Vesuvius on them. That doesn't sound good. I haven't. Well, not many people have seen what he can do. I heard about something he had first. You heard about him going on a mission. It was. Uh, yeah. I'm not good with words. I, I'm Five years ago, him and some other elites went on a mission where he was hostile. They encountered a world boss. That's not good. World bosses are usually level 500 up on their own. This was a level 780 world boss. Vesuvius, and subsequently his friends, totaled maybe level 520. But Vesuvius himself, though to great expense of his own health, which left him in the bed of an infirmary for the better part of a year, killed it with his magic and left nothing to it but the exploded chest and Torso of one of the few remaining titans. It's what earned him that little respirator he wears when they realized the explosivity of his magic. The guild had to find a way to limit that, control it as much as possible. Anyways, you should get some sleep. Yes, good job, Sirius. Leaving Kevin on there. Yeah. I think it's gonna. The dice. I've been rolling this whole time trying to find a fight. There is not one. Egg <laughs> levels. <clears throat> um, there just isn't a fight at the levels where they would be ballsy enough to fight us. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I even tried to spawn a world boss, but nope. Um, yeah, let's just spawn a level five hundred. Good luck, guys. I know you're yeah, all is. you're all level thirty, but good luck. <laughs> you can do it. I believe in you. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but I mean. You're going to have a nice, pleasant journey all the way back to the Manthian Guild. Well, except um, Sirius and Shadow. They're going to 
get out roughly around the outskirts of the city and walk holding hands all gay like to their house. <laughs> <laughs> happy. All happy like, excuse me. Well, as they're part <laughs> of be the way, Beatrice is going to give them pleasant waves and happy smiles. Are they going to collect a, a fag along the way so that they have something to burn in their fireplace? I'm sorry, a Shit. bundle of sticks. <clears throat> yeah, words change. Yeah, words change. <laughs> Be nice if they didn't, but they do. I know, right? But <laughs> oh, there we go. I'm back. Um, sorry, my, I looked at my computer and it was all my screen was all pixelated and glitchy. And... Your graphics card died. But why? It's a good card. Right and fucking new. Yeah, very. I'm about to talk to Iba and see if I can get that figured out. I don't know, maybe it's a driver issue. I don't load on my computer. <laughs> Not yet. I don't. I'm gonna pee, get a drink, and then I'm gonna gin your quest reward. Or your experience. You're not getting anything else. You're right back. Hey. Did anyone try to uh, investigate Shadow? Nah. While he was in. <clears throat> Kevin, what's your level? 280. Oh, okay. They want the GeForce experience! <laughs> there it is. Your level is still higher than Shadow. Yeah. But carriage, close faces, and hugs don't don't exactly end well. It usually ends with someone knocking their head on a wall. Mostly shadow. Um. <laughs> it's like fuck apple. Especially considering that Kevin's seven two now. Yeah. Well, at least you don't have to worry about tight spaces like Yon does when she's in her true form. When she's in her true form, yeah. This is Large, true. aggressive, fluffy, fluffy Awu. Like Awu. 11 feet at the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, custom installation. I knew there was a driver issue. That's totally what I not just said. Off of a totally not just taking credit for Turk's explanation. <laughs> yes, yes, I just clicked the install button and installed. I'll go budding ding in my ear. <clears throat> Hmm. USB C driver update, HD audio driver update, physics update, and a graphics driver update. Good lord. I was hoping to show off Shadow's fancy new trick. You might get the chance. Huh? What was Augie uh, talking about? His, uh, <laughs> his meme lordy? Yes. Hoping to show that off to somebody. But there's always next session and the next. 
And you know that Beatrice would have wanted to learn it immediately. Yeah. I forgot to ask what the range was on that. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess the guild yeah. keeps most of that. Fucking jealous. Button. Button. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm installing a new graphics journal. But it's driving me crazy. This is wanting to come off. Well, part of it's wanting to come off. And... But it's really tough. Be a rip it. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Maybe I should have kept Java up to date. Started yelling at it every time. <laughs> Java's gonna stop updating soon, isn't it? I don't think so. Java has too many. It, it runs too much. I'm sure there is better, but it's it was so widely integrated. They couldn't not not smartly or safely. Well, they could, smartly and safely, but it would take a lot of effort. There you go. I'm do that. <laughs> Return. No problem. Welcome back. Okay. <laughs> gonna have to thank Drake. Some of you might even have to suck him off to thank him. <laughs> Got it. it was a simple I'll give you experience and money to do this fucking job. Oh, they're typing it. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah, fine. Everyone snur at the same time. <laughs> there you go. Be right back. I have a sudden urge to fucking vomit. <laughs> I'm sure someone can work that into a song. Holy shit. <laughs> so that amused me. Okay. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Add that to my current and I get. <clears throat> Hmm. Not bad pay, considering my dad just paid us to fuck off for a month and a half. <laughs> he can pay me to fuck off any time if he pays like this. <clears throat> Careful, <Are> you... Nabody. <clears throat> he will fuck you. And again, you'd have to that time that I like. Hmm? He'd have to figure out where my bits are. It's very fluffy down there. <laughs> Careful, um, Naiba, he would fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna warn you right now. He'll find him. He's got a good nose. I found that out when I was like, hey, Dad. I was like 12. I'm like, hey, Dad, can you help me with something? I walked in and was like, oh, for Christ's sake! <laughs> <laughs> I was most mostly amazed at the fact that he was holding her over his head with a hand. With a hand! One arm! I, I know what that <clears> feels <throat> like. Hey, Beatrice, remember that time that you seen him shirtless and got horny? 
Yes, that was a surprise. I know Bjorn has a hot swarm. <laughs> can you blame Bjorn him? Bjorn has he a hot swarm. Who you? I, I was going to say, can you blame him? Now I just have to say it twice. <laughs> well, I, I personally, I don't want a penis in my rump. So I, I, but I can't blame him. Uh, well, one, it's my own dad. Fucking disgusting. Two, now Fuyu is not my dad. And that's a handsome man. That is a prime specimen of genetically sculpted beauty. That's what I'm saying. They're both very good-looking individuals. Considered handsome and gorgeous. My dad. I'm not trying to hit on him. You know that. That would probably just, get me slapped you know, across the room. It's gross. <laughs> well, it obviously works for your mom. Mm. I will eat half of your fucking tail. You probably would. I will. I'm saying I'm not saying you won't. You know I'm going to. Mm, we'll have to put a pin in this one. More like a cleaver. <sighs> you are very much like your dad. Is that a compliment? It really is. <coughs> Why it wouldn't be a compliment, considering that your father's very smart, very educated, reformed, very quick-witted about himself, and an extremely capable fighter. Very good. Also a drinking buddy with my mother. So is Sin's father. My mom drinks with everyone. <laughs> and who's this, this talking? There's Bonnie. Bonnie, okay. So it would also work for Raji. Okay. Yeah, I suppose so. Gloria might not be Faraji's biological mother. <coughs> she loves him all the same. <coughs> On cereal. Okay. Well, Beatrice is going to take the time once they are in a quiet moment, not really doing anything. He's going to take that time to level up. As will Nightby. This is a pretty easy mission. You seem like a very good couple. Happy. Happy and all. Maybe we should do escort missions more often. I don't know about that. I feel like this may have been an exception. Next time we, we might not be lucky. <coughs> We could get some uppity <laughs> noble that goes out of his way to look for damage. Or look for things to get slapped right. around by. And that's when you tie them up. They're a noble, you can't do that. Sure you, you totally can. can, but you shouldn't do it. Because <clears throat> payment or... and standing and such. I don't know if that's true. I very distinctly remember a story of my father once tying a noble to the back end of a donkey. <laughs> no, it's better. He then took the donkey into a pasture full of <clears throat> in rut wild beast males. <laughs> I think I know where this story's going. That moral of the story is though, he spilled the beans fast. <laughs> yeah. I don't blame him. That is a terrifying concept. I I would agree. Fun fact, did you know that a wild beast will keep fucking a corpse because it can't feel that it's dead because of its massive weight? <coughs> I 
didn't, but it's interesting to know. Mm. Oh. By the way, I got some broth. It's good. And the broth. The broth that comes out of a cow boob. Milk? No. Boob broth from a cow. It's milk. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> what time is it in game world? It is the twenty sixth hour. <laughs> How about you all? I'm gonna go get some shot. Eh? Probably not a bad idea. Yeah, you've got about 11 hours until dawn. Mm, sleep sounds like a good idea, then. Also, since we're back at the guild that we started at... Mm, uh, going to... Well, you're back at the Namanthian mm. one, but not the original, original one you were at. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I mean. Abby's gonna do another spirit dance? Yeah. <laughs> They're also Maybe gonna, gonna like, be in, in they're the also form. gonna like touch their face with their hands because they've been like you know touching things and they want to get immunized to the local bacteria before they get sick. <laughs> Speaking of sick, how's feeling, feeling? Fine. Balls hurt though. <laughs> That's mostly why he's going to bed. Just kind of like a little. So you were saying something about Naivai being informed? Naivai's uh, spirit, Roshan, uh, will inform them. By the way, I'm Roshan Full, and um, that we near death mage lady knew everything about my family history. Well, see, she did seem like she had lived through quite a bit. I'm not surprised she knew a lot about history. She also informed uh, them, and well, now I think she knew I would probably tell. There's a whole bunch of bad going, on. so it might be tantamount that she's very assertive in taking us to the capital city, the Loromana, talk <coughs> to the royal family. Turn that amulet. As soon as we get back to the other guild, I intend to ask the party to go there. <laughs> I've been waiting long enough anyway. I don't want to keep you here any longer than you need to be. I've been dead for a while. I could wait longer. She wants to be ready. An ideal scenario is you each get to at least level 80. That might be difficult. That might not happen. Not unless we got a lot of, uh... Maybe like a quadruple XP potion or something? I don't know I if those this... do exist. Okay. There are... I have seen XP potions up to... Um... Deck tuple. They are... They get exponentially more expensive. Wow. I just hope... That somehow... Some... A fucking... Boss of it. You have great experience. Well, they were saying that Shadow was prone to accidents. I'm sure if we just follow them around for long <coughs> enough, we'll run into something. Sweet. I'm not going anywhere. Not like that. Anyways, time to nap. Time to dance. <clears throat> Together. Now I just picture like the smug dance is all she does in the room all night. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's more like that uh, pictograph I showed you of like the different poses in the relation yeah. to letters. It's like that. Yeah. It, it's it's that it's intermixed with the like the uh... <laughs> Sorry. It's that intermixed with like just very primal wild dancing. And what could be better than this? Twenty-eight stab wounds. 
<laughs> Fucking love that. <laughs> I played that game. I love that game. <laughs> Feeling making his way to his room a little slower than normal. Kind of mumbling to himself. Is that because of the candy? <laughs> yeah. I can just see it just kind of stopping every once in a while. Oh my. <laughs> But he does straight to bed. Oh, Bonnie's gonna give Sin and Beatrice time alone. Instead, going to oh. torment fucking Fiona all night. <laughs> <laughs> you thought your balls heard it now. Wait till she gets time. <laughs> Fiona goes to the shut door and it doesn't shut because there's a hand just slowly pries open. Let's have a talk, why don't you? That ain't. I'm going to milk you. And then just do it <laughs> shuts. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a menacing fucking statement to hear in the middle of the night, wouldn't it? Like, you just wake <laughs> up and just, I'm going to milk you. <laughs> mm. Um, uh, wait, hold on now. <laughs> I need a dog! No means no, you can't be. is not objecting to this, but you don't think he can. <laughs> <laughs> like, Fionn's cute. He thinks he has a choice. He knows he doesn't have a choice. It's like, okay, yes. I'm doing this. Bonnie is the purest form of Dom. <laughs> <laughs> Literally has you by the balls. And, and it kind of squeeze. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> no, Please no. That'd be hilarious. Body. That'd be hilarious, though. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm making <laughs> high pitched squealing. <laughs> Just high pitch, high pitch. <laughs> 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 Milk, as in the entire body. She's gonna wring you out like a rag. <laughs> <laughs> it's Bonnie. I'm gonna train you as thoroughly as a tube of toothpaste with a steamroller. You will still be sore in the morning, but for different reasons. <laughs> There's my dice roller. Fiona is 100% okay with this for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there are worse things to happen to a, to a guy. You're, per you're fairly yeah. confident. Had Bonnie had a penis, she would have put it inside of you at some point <laughs> yeah. during the night. Oh, don't give her one of the candies. <laughs> no, do. Actually, she already has one. I was about to say, did she get one? She wasn't with you, but she did actually steal one. Wait a minute. Why isn't it in my inventory? <laughs> no, she just stole one from Mob because he didn't want it. <clears throat> now, the big question is, does Beatrice eat hers? We'll do a dice roll for that. See if she got tempted enough. No, she didn't get tempted enough yet. I guess I should do a dice roll to see if Bonnie's gonna eat at any point in the night. You are the true random servant. Yes, I am. Wait. Can we? He does need her. All right.
Maybe not like that. Uh... I can't stop burping here or hiccuping. Help me. All right, I'll go get the lube. <laughs> So, yeah, Ivy, I was right. That picture I sent you the other day, I, that is pretty dice. much uh, Fiona and Bonnie. Okay, then. Good job, Bonnie. Congratulations. Explain that one to your old man. Or no. What? <laughs> I think I know. <laughs> <laughs> did, did he take the potion? She took the candy and she washed it down with the potion. Results are very. <laughs> What are the results? The results are a sore anus. <laughs> oh no. Called it. Let's just stop leaving things up this, like this up to chance, but it's just too good to pass up. Oh no, poor Fionn. Poor Fionn. Fionn be happy. Poor Fionn. Is he going to be able to walk in the morning? Is the question. Probably. Is <clears throat> can't be, she can't be much bigger than her. What? <clears throat> hey, look See, at that! See, I'm missing my Good job. All right, dice roll, dice roll done, 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 dice roll done. Do all this next week. Closing. Like the closing argument. Okay. All right. Okay. Get out of here, bug. He's trying to hit it, and he's evading me. Look at that. That's a good bit of experience and a good bit of cash for doing nothing whatsoever. Yeah. yeah, that was a pretty simple mission. It was a good one. Yeah. Get a rush out of trolls going to be in all this. Just kind of, kind of be there to assist wherever he's needed. <laughs> 